This is yeah. going to be like the longest video ever. Yeah, it might have to be. It might have to be a two-part. It I'm might gonna, have to be I'm a two-part. I'm going to leave it entirely up to you, man. I'm, I'm just going to leave the camera running, and we'll, we'll, leave, we'll see what happens. Just leave the camera running. We'll see, see what, what happens. happens. Story <laughs> on the trebuchet. The story on the trebuchet. <laughs> My mate Colin rang me up and said we're going to build a trebuchet. I said brilliant. <laughs> that's just that's not concrete. That's just this is solid bedrock. That's just what's hanging out underneath the soil. I want to extend your yard. Cheap and very cheap. It feels a bit weird driving it. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, it feels really weird. Yeah. Well, hey. He's here. Hey. Land Rover? It's my mum's. So you've got your mum's Land Rover then? Yeah, just before we do that, hang on. What's going on? Seatbelt. I, I was talking on the phone. This, isn't a, this isn't a, pri a, a public road, this is a private road. Private we'll just start again. <laughs> we'll just start again, shall we? <laughs> let's go get a coffee. Yeah, let's go get a coffee. Let's get a coffee. I've got my mum's Land Rover, my Chuck. It's not broken down, is it? It is a little bit, yeah. So I noticed in Crimbo Limbo that there was like a little bit of steam just coming out. You know where you, the oil, where you fill the oil up? Mm -hmm. You know they Did it have oil in it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Got a leaky, uh, leaky injector. Um, and I went to take it out myself and it was quite stuck fast. So I took it to a garage who has better tools than I do. But that's fine. It's actually, um, I went to see them this morning because I got fuel from the same garage. Are you going to get it back soon then? I'm going to get it back later today. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's where you want. It's so where you want. We're all ready to go. We're going to Tom Lamb's farm. We're going to see Tom, Tom Lamb. Lamb. Tom yeah. Lamb. People who are on, on, on YouTube might know him. He appears randomly on Colin Ferris' channel. Yeah, he's friends with uh, Colin, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, and he doesn't live a million miles away. He lives in. Stamford? Stamford. Stamford. Yeah, Stamford. So, yeah, he doesn't, yeah. He doesn't, like, it's just down the road, isn't it? Half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah, about 40, 40 minutes, yeah. So we'll burn on down the A43. Oh, that's, that'll give people a clue as to where you are. They it can, will. They can get like a map. <laughs> do a four, get, 40 they, minute they radius. 40 minute radius. From Stamford. From Stamford. A43. Oh, <laughs> crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Spend forever. <laughs> all these, all these clues out there. But, but they'll never find out where Farm 2 is. No one knows where Farm no, 2 is. No one knows. Someone messaged me the other day and was like, Farm 2 is in the Nev. Have you ever watched, um, uh, what's it called? Stranger Things? No, I've never watched Stranger Things. Oh, okay. No. Well, it really I'm matter. more a Game of Thrones kind of guy. I've watched Game of Thrones a, a, a bit. It was okay. I didn't like it. No, the ending was awful. The books are good. Do you think the ending was awful? Yeah. The only bit of the Game of Thrones I watched religiously was the ending. Like I'd sort of the ending was awful, but it wasn't. It wasn't the author's ending. It was the TV show oh, guy's what ending. Oh, was in the author's ending? We don't know. He still got two bloody books to write. Oh no way! It's yeah, like yeah. Where they like sort of like, like like did she catch up? With Harry Potter, did they wait for her? Did no, she... no, no. She was always ahead. She was always ahead. Yeah, okay, right. yeah. So no, more... Game of Thrones overtook the books. Oh, okay. He hasn't released one since the same year the first season came out, 2011. What? Yeah. It's... I get all nerdy when it comes to Game of Thrones. Well, um... <laughs> apparently, <Yeah. laughs> I'll probably edit this bit out. Found out a lot, nice little bit about Nick. About me, yeah. Well, the fact that I'm nerdy and I like Game of Thrones and Harry That's... Potter. Yeah, no, I don't know anything about anything. I went to see some of the new Star Wars with my friend Andy. And it was probably, oh, do you know what I think about it today? Andy got into a weird flirting thing with the girl behind the counter in the Odeon. Oh no. Because we went there and they were like talking about this spaceman that was on the side of the cup that you get your coke from. And I didn't know what it was called. And I called it a space marine. So it was like a space trooper, a star, no, star trooper, I called it storm trooper. I called it something like that. And they were like, no, it's this. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. It's just flashy lights, and, 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 and it's just the space opera. Isn't it? I've it's never, <laughs> I've never been into Star Wars. Can't it's get fine. into it. Like I watch it because it's just a romp. Like, but I'm not into it. Into no, it. Like, it's just no. A bit of fun. The original films were all right, but I'm not like I wouldn't say I'm massively into. It. I don't really, I don't, I don't really enjoy enjoyed the Star Wars films that much. It's okay. Yeah. Like I. Uh... What were we talking about? I don't know, man. We were on something else, and then we went on oh, to Game Tom of Thrones. Tom Lamb, yeah. Tom Lamb. Tom yeah. Lamb to Game of Thrones. Fact, you should definitely leave all that in. I'm cut. <laughs> <laughs> we got from Tom Lamb to Star Wars. Not like it. Yeah, this is yeah. going to be like the longest video ever. Yeah, it might have to be. It might have to be a two part. It might have to be a I'm two gonna, part. I'm going to leave it entirely up to you, man. I'm, I'm just going to leave the camera running, and we'll, we'll, leave, we'll see what happens. Just leave the camera running. We'll and see, see what, what happens. happens. Tom Lamb, absolutely just. Just a lovely bloke, just a really nice And we know him from, uh, well, through Instagram, we know through Instagram Modern yeah. World. He started following me and I followed him back. I recognised him from the Colin Furs videos uh, maybe a year or so ago. And we just message each other the most random nonsense. So I reply to everybody. Yeah, on Instagram. I, I try to, I try my best. but Oh my God, many. yeah, but I mean, there's considerably more time, more people who follow you. Than Where are you going? Get coffee. From where? Costa, no, Costa, Costa. Um, New Costa. So yeah, yeah. I... Uh, yeah, I'll, reply, I'll, re I'll respond to anyone, and like, and I'll just respond with the most weird nonsense half the time. <laughs> what do you want anyway, dude? Uh, cappuccino, please, mate. No worries, I'll have two of those, I think. 
Oh. Hey, how you doing? You right? Are we here? We're here. We're here. We should say, Pride of Stamford, um, that we've come here on the same day that Llama would have been on because we were going to meet Tom. Yeah, no Llama. No Llama this year. Uh, no Llama this year. Well, maybe Llama in May. Maybe, yeah. And Tom's yeah. got a brand new Massey Ferguson. So we're just basically, we're just going to go perm on that. Yeah. Just a whole day of perming on a Massey. Going to look at a Massey Ferguson. Is that him around there? Should I drive over his way? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the new Massey Ferguson? That's the new Massey Ferguson, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't think that's it. <laughs> How we doing, mate? All right. All right. Yeah. I want to show you something before. Yeah. Actually, these boots. What? Yeah. Look at these. Wind ups. Wind ups. That's oh. all right. You on commission? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not actually. I just, I just thought they're quite cool. Actually. It's nice. It's in the nice part of the world. It's just the. It's just the bloody yard. Look at it. Oh, That's yeah. right. You've been to mine. Mine's the same. All right. I'm trying to get concrete. In that I'm, I'm trying to get a grant. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah, I think loads of photos of it looking like this. I'm sending it to the water agency. I'm not in the catchment area, unfortunately. <sighs> That's a shame. Yeah. yeah. I Sorry. think we came in at the wrong direction. It was Great Caston that way. Yeah. It? Yeah, we came in from that way because we ran, went wrong. You missed the exit, didn't you? <laughs> I thought you were late. Yeah, I missed the exit. Let's see some you want, tractors. What do you want to see? See some cows. We want to see this new Massey. Oh yes. Yes. Sure. Farm Good. tour. Let's do it. Yeah, these are the combines. They're, they're, they're a bit old, but um, they don't cost me anything, and they do the harvest. Yeah. So that's all we want. That's all we want. How, it? how big are they? 18 foot ends. That one's 16. I think that one's actually 14. Let's have a little look. <laughs> yeah. The same one. Yeah, they're both exactly the same. I'll show you a picture of when we had all three of them running. He used to have the same. He used to have. The same. I bought one of them. Did you? He went three John Deere's. Did you, were two of them the same? Were two of them 1188? Two 1188s and a yeah. 2064. <laughs> I'm a picture of them all running down. I love an old combine. They're good. I mean, they're, they're tidy, they do the job, but I don't really warrant buying no. No. For, for the amount they do, for the amount we do. That there's, no, there's no point. Oh, wow. You see them? Blimey, yeah. So I have an old 865 that oh, had an 18 foot power flow header on it. And this one here is this one. Yeah. And that one there. Is that for it, farm and photography? Yeah, farm, farm, and farm and photography did that. That's a pretty good shot, that is. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That was back in his early days, before was he was... Before yeah. he was on, on, on Instagram. Yeah, before he was on Instagram, stuff. before he was on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. so are they both the same model, are they? Both exactly the same. This one, I oh, know, sorry, this one here came brand new. And then this one we bought set, uh, second hand quite a few years ago, but they've not they've not really done anything, as you can tell by the tyres that they've. Yeah, they're not even the back ones. Nothing. No. Because you always stored them indoor. I do like a massy, and I bet I love this one. I had a 16, 18 foot head. You, you never need to take the head off. Yeah. Go out one of those doors. And then, say if say if I ever get stuck as a chap up the road with a Lexan 770, he if he'll get you out of trouble. Yeah, I wouldn't say get me out of trouble if I'm being lazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to sort of, yeah, get on a bit more if yeah, I've got, yeah, yeah. got other things to do. This is my new grain bucket. All the butts. All, all, all the, butts. All the attachments by <laughs> All the butts. Are all butts. Hey. I do, yeah, I do like them. They are good. We've just bought a uh, all but grab bail squeeze. I'm oh, very yeah. impressed by it. Yeah, I am. It's the first all but we've had. I've just bought good. one of those brushes yesterday. They haven't turned up yet, but you know, like it goes on the front to do the sweep. Yeah, we've got yeah. one of those. Not out. It's, not like, it's like a V form one that they do now, so it's, they're, they're in like a V. So All right. It, it brush a silage brush. Um, I don't know yet, because I haven't got it. I just thought it looked interesting. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll buy that and see how we get on with it. Yeah, that's yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I'll show you the, lo the load. It's really awesome about Massey because they make everything. I suppose they do, don't they? <laughs> yeah, because I was always tempted to get like a Massey tractor and mower and wrapper yeah. and round bale, and they've got a lot on it. And mm -hmm. rake mm. and tedder. I've always been sort of matchy matchy. Massey. Yeah. You know, my dad's been Massey, my granddad, my great granddad, that's all they've ever bought. Yeah. So to go off to a different brand would be a bit weird. I'd say it'd be a bit weird, but the Chandler's who we deal with, they're. They're pretty good, to be fair. The new tractors are cool. It's something we don't see because there's not very many around. Thing, yeah, the thing is with Massive Ergston, it's, it's, it's such a big name. I've never, apart from an old 35, I've never driven, ever driven one. Mm. So, yeah, I've just got I don't even know what they look like in, inside the cab. So I've been to the factory a couple of times as well. Yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah. good. Yeah. I've been to the John Deere factory. Yeah. That was really impressive. Dad has, many years ago. Yeah. I went to Mannheim in Germany. Yeah. So yeah, Dad went there. I went to the combine factory, the tractor factory, the spare cab. Uh, spare parts factory and the cab factory and I, I must say 
that John Deere Combines, their painting process, I'll, I'll never forget it, it's it's far superior than everyone yeah. else's, because like, everyone else is obviously just spraying it all on in big, big boosts and that, whereas John Deere, they've got like massive sort of swimming pools that they, they sort dunk it. they dunk it, electrify the water, yeah. and then all the paint sticks to it, and it probably, you're talking maybe a 30 second process, oh, just man. bang in, and <laughs> every single bit, even oh, inside the machine, just everything's painted, it gets in all the cracks, it gets everywhere. So yeah, that that was really awesome. that was really impressive to watch. That was. Right, I'll show you this JC bear. I'll show you that, and then um, so I'll look. look at the tractor. Swingy dangly one. This, this is a swingo dangly. You probably see <laughs> it. Swingy dangly. You'll see it. You see it. Look. Tom Lamb. Swingo dangly behind there, and then it's got Colin Furs. Yeah, oh, yeah. You got your Furs t shirt on, I noticed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is advertising. Yeah. No, I did wear it nice and warm. He's got his cash for brains. Yeah, yeah, I got his one on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I bought a construction spec one, but the price to start with, you buy one of these, they're half the price of an ag spec yeah. one. And I thought, what am I doing? You know, it's on narrow tyres. I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. But do you know what? It's one of the best things I've ever bought because. I can load those lorries with it, it's so long and big, you don't feel as though you're going to yeah, yeah. tip over. Then like putting all these sheds up, I ain't got to hire one in. Yeah. Put all the steel work, put all the roof on and everything. What's and it lift? Three and a half ton? Three and a, um, yeah, three and a half ton. And then like loading lorries as well, loading lorries of straw, you just pick a pack of five up, you don't <laughs> even know you've got it, just shove it straight on, it's brilliant. They are slow on the road, yeah. but I don't tend to use it on the road that much. And then radio and air conditioning are optional extras. Yeah, they're a bit, yeah. <laughs> but then you sit higher in this, yeah. which is better for visibility. Uh, the legs on the front, I mean, they are, they're really good. So say, say if I wanted to get some bales of straw out of here, yeah. and there's all stuff in the way. You can balance yourself out. Because it's and a 12 and a half metre boom. I mean, it's massive it when you stick it out. I can boom over everything. Just get it. And just pick it out. The only other disadvantage to it is, it hasn't got a rear tow hook. For, oh, for getting yeah. trailers, that is a little bit annoying. But <laughs> you could, they said you possibly can, yes. So instead of like a rear tow hook, I've just got like a clevis. But I, I never, uh, use, I never use. Thing them. is, we'd we'd really miss yeah. not having not having the Pigovich on the yeah. back because we use it a lot for towing with RJ. You need it. I mean, I did ask them. I think if I buy another one, I will. You get one. I will spec mm. it with a rear pickup in. Yeah. And this is my Bailey low loader. She's a babe. I've actually just uh, sold this one. I've got a new one coming in April, but there's like a six months waiting list. There's a monster um, waiting list on Bailey. Oh, it? massive, isn't there? And that's from Brogan Trade, Broughton, or whatever you want to sell it. Yeah, sell it. Yeah, yeah, I see that one all the time, mate. I yeah, that I'll tell you what, that is that is a hell of a trailer. Like you see these locks on the back door. I don't know any other manufacturers that um, that do these. I mean, some do, but not like this. Look. So like the holes, they're on sort of oval shaped holes up the top. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so they, these actually lock lock in. As it goes down. As it goes down. Right. And also as well, this one's been specced, it's got an inch thick floor in it. Has it? Yeah, so you can get heavy duty. So. And it's got it's got thicker sides. I don't know if you can see it under here, you probably probably can around here where it's not covered in crap. If you look here, like you can see how you can see how thick the floor is. Yeah. Right. Oh god, yeah. Blimey. So that's really good. Yeah. That's awesome. She's a beast. Here's a 186 quad route. Oof. I bought this, um, bought this from a farmer up the road actually, and I've had it probably six years now, and brilliant bit of kit. Yeah? Yeah, really good. Probably getting on a bit now, but... Yeah, but... I don't I know. I don't do that much with it. The thing is, with Massey's, that they're Hessen, aren't they? Hmm. And they're just... <laughs> it's and like... I, bought, I bought this round baler new last year, but I haven't actually used it that much yet. She's a babe, mate. You sent us some pictures of her when you got her. Yeah. What an up... Nothing wrong with the Laylee, because the Laylee's old. But this... What an upgrade, though. What a bit of kit. Uh, so the, the difference... I used to have a Laylee one the same as yours. Yeah. yeah. It's quite similar, isn't it? The main... It is quite similar. There's a lot more reinforcement in the top of the door, because apparently they used to crack in the top of the door. Yep. And also, as well, now everything's controlled off electronic box, so you don't have to get out, adjust the bail height. It's all done. All done in cab. Yeah, yeah, it's all done in cab. Yeah. It's nice, man. I like those electronic control boxes because they sort of give you. It's all right till they go wrong, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's all electrics are like that, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's more reinforcement around the top of the, uh, the door now, from what I can see. Um, this, on the other one, it used to be like a round one. Yeah. And I've had that drop off a couple of times, so that's obviously better now. 
all the greasing points, you ain't got to try and find them, they're all... They're all good. together there. Yeah, they're all together there, so that's a lot better. And also as well, it does do some pretty good bales. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, it does do some pretty good <laughs> bales. And you can go like hell with them. You can go as fast as you want. Yeah. The reason I bought this was, is my well grit is probably due a new set of belts. Yeah, and uh, it's the same cost. Yeah, they're quite expensive, aren't they? Really expensive, yeah. And then it wanted a few other bits, and by the time we were going to do it, it would have been the first payment on this. So, yeah, yeah I'm quite pleased with this, really. This old night sprayer here, this came on the farm new. Uh, yeah. There's a um, night farm machine, who's my dad's cousin. No way. Mm. That's cool. Is that a beat drill back there? That's an old beat drill. Yeah. This is the shed that's full of crap. <laughs> full of crap sheds are always the best ones. We should do one of those on your farm, Nick. <laughs> what, a shed full of crap? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is, just nobody's seen it. Yeah, 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 it's nobody's a secret. It, yeah. <laughs> this trailer here, I built this in my apprenticeship. You built that trailer? Yeah, I built that trailer. Oh, wow. The only thing I wish I had done was put a strong, strong drawbar on it. Yeah. No, but it was a bit of a learning curve at the time. The axles have got mini super singles on it. Yep. So these all came from ADR axles at Newark. And the steel all came from Newark steel. And then just add it in the workshop. I mean, to be fair, building one of these trailers isn't that hard. No. You yeah, just job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got I mean, to be able I to weld, I which mean, I can't I did, do. This, I did this when I was 16. This no is, way. Yeah. This is the trebuchet that me and oh, Colin no, built. This is, on, this is from YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a photo of that, boy. Colin first trebuchet, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> How long will we take to build? About probably four weeks. Well, let's get, you might have to say that again, because you get near the camera. Story, story <laughs> on the trebuchet. The story on the trebuchet. <laughs> My mate Colin rang me up and said we're going to build a trebuchet. I said brilliant. <laughs> you know, I thought like this well, little, this little thing. I said no, no, we need it, we need it big, so it can't even hardly fit out your door. Perfect. So I was like, right, oh. so This was a, this was a sponsored video for Microsoft Game Pass uh, for Xbox. Yep. And uh, the reason they wanted it building because there's a game called Age of Empires. Yeah. And they have trebuchets in it. Right. So they yeah, said yeah. rebuild that, and we thought well, we'll have a go. <laughs> and then the reason I bought these tyres... I was going to say, they're they, mighty wheels. They, they fit that Broughton trailer, so when they're worn out, it's often these. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. Right, oh, moment. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's quite a lot of steel work in here. Oh, yeah. Some big bearings at the top. They're actually uh, stub axles. Oh, from, yeah. Uh, from ADL. I remember watching that now. Yeah, it's just, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I've my name on that. Yes, man. Look. I'm touching. <laughs> Have you subscribed? <laughs> YouTube Colin Furs. I don't know how. Uh, oh yeah, you can see it's an axle. I don't know how we. Uh, I spelled this. Here's some of the slings look from the firing mechanism. <laughs> Jesus. Blimey. And now it's been dumped here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's been dumped here. <laughs> Colin's there's, just abandoned it with there's it. There's the weight. Obviously, it, it broke on the last fire. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah yeah so basically what happened was the weight came down and it hit this because i think when i'd lifted it up i'd twisted it slightly the bearings couldn't hold it as it hit it it broke down and come off but i'd say it's probably only an hour's job to repair it yeah yeah, yeah. Just put some new bearings in and put it in but we we're sort of fed up with having two days of chucking stuff across a field and pulling engines out <laughs> <laughs> it's only so there's only so long you can do that for here's some of the, here's some of the test weights we're firing <laughs> massive things here <laughs> just chucked him across the field. Don't mind name, look. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it was, a, it was an impressive video to watch, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It might have been a museum at some point. Yeah, it that's true. A, yeah. Lot, a lot of people will watch this video. Yeah, it's crazy the amount of views it gets. Because mm. we're in Lincolnshire here, yeah. we're built on limestone, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to show you what's under our yard. Well, we've had a good day, Will, haven't we? I'm going to see Tom Lamb, Tom Lamb. He's got some stuff. He's got some kit, <laughs> and he's got so much kit. We're on our way back home now. We are. But probably going to have to split this video into a two-part. It might be a two-part. So, so tune back in in a couple more days to see the rest of Tom Lamb's farm. Tom Lamb, you're a legend. Part two, coming soon. Take it easy.